So what is going on guys, welcome back to a bit of a different video. I'm essentially interviewing Joe about uh, his whole YouTube break, what he thinks of the drama and his upcoming fight about KSI. So if you do enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. We're trying to hit 700,000 subscribers. Form your own opinions in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think of this video uh, and yeah, enjoy. So Joe, we're here. It's about to get deep, okay. we, we think. Uh, obviously, we're going to talk to you about what's going on recently with yourself and the whole YouTube community. Okay. Uh, since taking your break, how have you been feeling towards YouTube as a whole? Um, well, at first, I, I'll be honest, I was just fully relieved. Like, I was like, right, I don't have to worry anymore. It's gone. And realistically, I mean, I, I was under the impression in about six months, yeah, maybe I'll be back. But with the potential that I may move on at this point, like that was definitely like an option, but it got about literally like two weeks in and obviously like, I was just, I don't know, more than anything, I, at first I just started having ideas like, oh, that would be funny for a video, like stand up comedy stuff, like, you know, for example, the knit comb that your mum used to whip out <laughs> when you were in primary school and how it used to absolutely just like completely take your scalp off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I used to think, like I had a, an idea, oh, it would be funny to do like a thing, a segment on that, like random shit like that. That's what it started off as. And then, like, I don't know, obviously then I uh, saw uh, the, the beef that was going on. Um, I know everyone's saying, oh, I just jumped on it to be relevant. Classic, like I know it probably looked like that. But I, I remember just having so much to say. Like I was sitting there to myself like, I could make a, like say this funny thing about that or whatever. And I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a video reacting to the diss tracks, Similar. and then from there came another video because there was a there was a I think a reply yeah back and forth, and then I don't know man. I just literally felt like a a new sense of freedom. Well, that's, that's what I was gonna say. Do you think your breakdown on camera was finally a release of finally a release of yourself relieving the pressure of uploading high quality videos you've set upon yourself? Oh, uh, well, no, 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 there's never going to be any release of, I'm always going to put in Do you like, feel like, like saying that out shit. loud? Yeah, gave you I relief. definitely reckon the relief of basically saying how I was feel, feeling, because, uh, bro, don't, like, don't be mistaken, I tried to record that type of video where I was expressing myself, like, so many times, but what would happen is I'd try to be saying it in such, like, a coordinated way, whereas really, like, I don't know, I guess the fact that I could just fully just come out and express myself as how I was feeling, and obviously, like, that, you know, that showed. Yeah. That way was literally the best way and the only way that I could have actually got over it by fully just letting myself be open to everyone, just seeing like- Huge weight is... off your shoulders. Yeah, man. And after that, like, geez. Ugh. I remember watching it back thinking, I don't even know if I should put this out. Like, it is, it's putting myself fully out there, vulnerable as anything, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. crying on camera, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But at the same time, yeah, like, it just had to be done in order to move forward. I couldn't even do that. You couldn't? I've cried on camera, but I haven't uploaded it. When? But that was different. It wasn't because of an emotional thing. It was a pain thing. Pain? Yeah, you know when I, it was after I came out of the um, chiropractor, I was so upset that I couldn't play football, couldn't record videos, and like I was panicking about my channel, like, how am I going to do videos? And I was talking on the camera, I just couldn't upload it. Yeah. Oi, I want to see it. Upload it? I don't know if I got it. Oi, you can surely upload that. At the same time, I feel like when you're that open, whether it's a good emotion mm. or you're like, you know, negative emotion, the more open you are, the more you connect with people. That, that's what mm. I feel. So, I was glad to hear you got weight off your shoulders. Do you think that the rise in your views and subscribers has helped you to like and engage in YouTube more recently? Okay, well, yeah, obviously, like, when... Yeah, because like, some people obviously go upon YouTube subscribers. How yeah. do you think that's helped? Yeah, you yeah. Engage so with? like, obviously, my main thing, that, and this was the issue uh, at the beginning, why I wanted to take a break, because I was like, look, the thing that gets views, the thing that gets me views, are oh, internet melts and all that shit that I didn't want to do. Mm. Like that was the that was the issue. I didn't want to do what got, what got views. So it, it, like saying that I was just I've come back just for views. Nah, I, the, that was the issue in the beginning. I didn't want to do that. So, however, though, coming back and doing stuff that I enjoy that also is getting views, that's gassing me up. Because me going to town, like speaking my mind as I am, and that getting, you know, getting everyone involved and we're all talking about it and it's, you know, it's good. It's like, yeah, we're going again. Rekindled your passion a little bit. Yeah. And do you think boxing has helped you do that recently? Mate, that is exactly, like honestly, I'd say that through pushing the barriers, through challenging myself, and all of that and seeing the progress in myself through the boxing, 
it is literally reflected onto multiple things. YouTube, definitely. Like the fact that, okay, if I'm, fa if I'm having a, a difficulty like saying something in a video, whatever, like I can, I can come out, I'll get through it and, and be able to record this video. Whereas before I'd be like, oh, I can't do it. I've lost my way. I'm not able to like mm. do it anymore. No, I, I you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. So like, yeah, man, the boxing has definitely helped discipline wise. And obviously with regards to your upcoming fight between yourself and KSI, mm. what is it like for you going up against someone you used to idolise. Yeah, man, that's like, mental. That position? How's well, that position? always be mental. Like, like, don't get me wrong, whenever I see JJ, like, even when we just, like, before all this, like, I always think, like, wow, like, I used to literally be, not just a fan, like, a, yeah, yeah, like you say, idol, wow, this geezer's is massive to me. But, make no mistakes, times have changed, bro. Like, yeah, they, yeah. it's just true, like, I'm not that, like, 15-year-old kid anymore. I'm 21, and... We have an issue, like we have a situation here. And this is a that, serious. Like, yeah, like and that pisses me off as well when yeah. people are like, "Oh, is it just all fake beef?" Yeah. Like, I understand all the diss track stuff was like most likely just fake and whatever. But make no mistakes, when JJ at the beginning when we arranged to do this boxing match, calm, like we were just gonna do it and it was gonna be good. But when he went behind my back and did all this snake and stuff, mm. where he tried to get Harry involved and now he's trying to get more money and all that stuff and do it all secretly, like that's pissing me off. And that's I'm not, like, I'm not gonna let someone just walk over me and just think they're such a big dong like, like that. Like, I'm no, mm. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's weird how times have changed. What advantages do you think you have over KSI within boxing? Uh, within so boxing, so either physically, mentally. Um, okay, so I just think that, look. JJ, I mean, he's, well, don't get me wrong, he is a powerful guy. He has got energy. Like, we see it in his whole just person. Naturally, that's what he has. He's the bigger guy who have bigger reach. He's taller. So he has a lot of things going for him. But gen genuinely, like, it's, it's going to come down to putting in the work and, you know, really not just, I mean, obviously, when we did our fight, like, we didn't have any training. We didn't <laughs> no. do anything like that and it's going to be who's basically willing to put in more work so it's your dedication and yeah i feel like i am i am a dedicated geezer do you think this fight will be good for the youtube community i mean mate like anything that's entertaining yeah like obviously within things obviously like this yeah, is yeah, sport yeah. but this it's, still, boxing, it's, a, it's yeah. still an entertainment yeah like within yeah it's it's gonna be sick man obviously i'm hoping like we're gonna have the event like at an arena where there's gonna be like thousands of hope i think like eight thousand people we're gonna have like obviously hopefully a lot of the youtube community there um it will be streamed live on youtube like we, we, we're trying to make together. yeah we're gonna try and make this like a proper event you know, so definitely, I think it'd be sick for YouTube. And obviously, speaking of the community, mm. what do you make of all this drama and how do you think it's going to end? Drama? Like, what specifically? Like, like... all the diss tracks. Because obviously, a lot of people say, obviously, that they're, they're, most of them are fake. Yeah. But people have gone in on each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's been savage. Like, obviously, more specifically, like, the Harry versus JJ, like, beef. Like, the way they have been savage. And, like, I just think it has got a bit out of hand. Like, I mean, Especially... realistically, like, when they're making all the drug references and stuff, mate, like... All they're doing there is just, it's not, it's not exactly funny. Like, it's not like they're getting like loads of entertainment points. They're just actually shooting themselves in the foot because they're, they're now just it's plotting okay. these things inside. The yeah, they're plotting. So now like, I don't know, it just makes us, it reflects kind of badly on all of us. Like, oh, YouTubers are all druggies and things like that. Like, it's dodgy, mate. Like, so yeah. I just think. Especially I, when he watched it with his mum. Yeah. You can tell that she was seriously shocked. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, I don't know, man. I think it's crossed it a bit and not really been, I don't know. Uh, it's not like, I don't know, maybe fine, it's, it's entertainment, but it's not something I think. Well, I, I'm personally hoping it ends soon. Really? Yeah. I, it I, is better. It is fun, and, but what is your favourite part of the whole thing so far? Oh, well, uh, I guess, like, I... Uh, Has there been any, like, moment in distress that's saying, that was brilliant? Okay, well, when, like, th th some of the one-liners that Harry's come out with, they've been, they've been the highlights, like, like, and I think uh, a lot of people agree on that, like, we didn't expect that Harry would be able to come out with, like, line after He's line, just brilliant. absolutely savage like and he just has the thing is that he's good it. at it as well when we went to chris's birthday in jersey we were all smashed and harry just started going in well freestyling yeah freestyling on me on cal and chris it was amazing oh was he coming out with like yeah just like <laughs> hair and all that stuff oh no that's decent uh let's try and make this a bit more upbeat do you have any upcoming plans you'd like to share or push uh ooh, all right uh ba -ba -da -ba. 
I don't know. Oh, what? Book tour? Book. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that's been funny. Obviously, JJ and all that lot taking a piss out of her. Obviously, I announced, yo, I'm taking a break. But now I'm trying to sell you my book. Yeah. I oh, know, it's dodgy. Are you planning. coming to Brighton for a book signing? Yes. So let's get on to the actual book stuff. Like, on a level, I am actually putting in the work to make meetups happen. Because I want, yeah. like, obviously, I've never done anything like that. So we're doing meetups in Brighton, Cardiff, Glasgow, Gateshead, and Milton Keynes. There you go. All right, uh, at the beginning, very beginning of November. So, like, obviously, yeah, it'd be sick to meet as many people. And as well, obviously, I'm having to sign physically 4,000 <laughs> copies of I this book. I saw Spence had to do 2,500 yesterday. Yeah, man, like, think, like, sitting there, that's going to be nuts. But obviously, yeah, you can get your hands on them. So, yeah, okay. it's exciting. And actually, on the subject of what a book is about, I know, like, a lot of people think, oh, we just do it, and it's just, I don't know, not much effort goes in. But... Obviously, when I do all these exploring videos, and that's what it's about, haunted and abandoned sort of stuff, I get so many different ideas. And I've basically taken all of these things that we can't actually really make into a video and put it into this one, like, wacky story. All right? So I've had a lot of input, and we've been working on it the whole year. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah. Exciting times. Yeah. Final question. Are you happy? Oh. Yeah, I'm happy and yeah, just I, I, I've realised one big thing that is key to my happiness and that is staying in shape. Yeah, actually, Obviously, I can, yeah, I can really like that. Yeah, I can like, really much for that. I uploaded an Instagram showing like a little before and after where I'd let myself go a bit, you know, and that was when I was at my absolute lowest, mate. And you actually, yeah, because you put it in the group chat first and you did actually look a little bit like... I was so, mate... Podgy. Yeah, bro. Like, in his, I, I literally let myself go and it was like... That has such a reflection on everything else. Like, and yeah, man, like now I'm back on it, like training, and I've got so many things to look forward to. Like I'm feeling on top of it. Well, there's, so, there's so many studies that show like physical education and all that stuff makes you so much happier. Yeah. It's good to hear. There you go, mate. Thanks for having me, Daily. It's all right. <laughs>